Well, the cold snap's arrived again, although it's not that bad. Just pop on an extra layer in the evening. Get the dressing gown, not the dressing gown, um, the big old hoodie layer, a hot water bottle, and you're good to go. But people find this concept really weird that self-denial or just saying no to something is, is a bad thing. Like, are you so poor you can't put your heating on whenever you want to? That if you want a, a takeaway, you just go and buy a takeaway. and retailers and capitalism and consumerism has taught us all that you can have everything regardless of its effect on your health or your finances just take it have it Want to go out to the pub on a Friday night? Do it. Want to change your car just because you're a bit bored with it? Do it. And that's not really how you should be living these days. But we're told that, want a new sofa? Yeah, get it. Doesn't matter that it's going to go on your credit card and you won't be able to pay it off for two years. Doesn't matter. Debt's good because debt is the only way retailers stay in business because no one's got money so everything has to be bought on tick so if you're one of those weird random people that has no debt you will also miss out because things like credit scores <clears throat> aren't interested in how debt free you are so you won't get stuff by being debt free. And this whole concept of, well if it's cold I'll just put an extra jumper on rather than put the heating on or if I don't want to pay full price for something then I won't, I'll find a different way to do it. It just really confuses some people. But a little bit of self-denial is good for you. If I just ate whatever I fancied eating, you know, walk around the corner to Domino's or Pizza Hut or decided to go out for a massive Saturday lunch, I'd be as big as a house by now. By curtailing my wants rather than my needs, I've got a, a good level of control now over my, my weight and my health. by saying, no, I won't put the heating on, I'll just stick an extra jumper on. I have more money in my bank and less of it in my energy supplier's bank because frankly, they have enough money. I choose to walk places instead of drive, which means more of my money stays in the bank and less of it goes to hugely profiting fuel companies. Because I'd quite like to keep a hold of my money. By having more money in the bank, I have less anxiety, less stress. I worry less about the things that could go wrong because I know that the money is there to solve those problems, should that be what the problem is. And they say money doesn't bring you happiness. Up to a certain level, it does because it stops that anxiety and that is worth having a little bit of self-denial for because I would much rather have less and worry less than have everything that I can think of that I could possibly need and be constantly worried about the credit card bill coming through.
And I haven't had debt in years now. But I have been in debt. I've had credit card debt. And it's terrifying. Because it constantly hangs over you. You may not always think about it, but in the back of your mind, it's always there. You always know that you owe somebody this money. And I hate that feeling because when companies keep you in debt to them, you can never escape them. And we, although we talk about being a free country, we have very little freedom. We're entirely shackled to money. Money makes the world go round. We're shackled to having to pay for things that keep us here legally, like you can't drive without insurance, you can't have a house without paying council tax, you can't heat your house without being shackled to an expensive energy provider. If you're going to go down sticks and bricks version of life, etc, etc. And for most people that is the way you do things. But you can't do any of it without being shackled financially to somebody or other. So you need to do whatever you can to be free from these companies and not being in debt to them. And not being in debt means self-denial. Because unless you earn an absolute fortune, and there is absolutely no risk of you ever losing that income, at some point you're going to have to think about, well, do I need to go on that third holiday this year? Do I need to have that weekend breakaway? Do I need to have that McDonald's? Do I need that delivery? delivery? All those things that I don't even think about anymore. I don't need fast food in my life. I managed to deal with uh, the FOMO from not just eating whatever you want. And actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't miss it at all. And on the very rare occasions that I do eat out, or maybe get a takeaway, like a fish and chips or something, which doesn't happen very often, they're really enjoyable experiences because they're rare treats. And I get a lot more from it than I would normally if I was doing it every weekend. So turning those things that everybody considers to be what you always have, even though it isn't, Turning those things into rare treats or special occasions makes life a bit more fun actually. I rather like it that going out to a restaurant once or twice a year is a really fun treat and it's something I get a lot of emotional enjoyment for because I don't go on my own, it would be with family or friends so it's a very social occasion. and. It's a rare, fun treat being cooked for by somebody else and it's always food that I wouldn't do myself at home so it's something completely different. I'm exploring new tastes, new foods, new ways of cooking things. And these are all really important things. And self-denial, saying no to a lot of stuff, has actually enriched my life because things that most people consider mundane are special things now and things to look forward to things to plan for and that's worth thinking about particularly if you're kind of smothered by just having everything and life seems a bit dull take some of those things out take away some of those things that you don't think about anymore like the takeaways two or three times a week the Friday nights out at the pub maybe that maybe you make that Friday night out at the pub a one Friday a month night out at the pub make that takeaway a once every couple of weeks thing rather than three times a week find the the joy and the pleasure in those small things by having them less you don't need to have them all the time. And a lot of it is 
there's a lot of laziness out there. We just think, if we hold out our hands, we'll just get stuff. And we don't have to put any effort in for things. This is why I scratch cook. I like to put in the effort because I appreciate the food more. Because... because I cooked it and I know where it came from and I did the work rather than it turning up on my doorstep in plastic boxes. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. And I've just arrived for my Wednesday clean. And that's something else. Because I don't work for other people very often anymore. When I do do it, which is, what, three times a week now. I appreciate that going out experience. But I don't get bored of it. I don't dread it. Because it's only three times a week. Whereas if you're in the nine to five all the time, it just leeches all the joy out of your existence. I mean, I know I did it for so many years. And now it's like, it's a trip out. So yeah, it's just a cleaning job, a few hours a week. But I get to meet people I wouldn't have met. It makes me leave the house, which I otherwise may not have done like today when it's a really chilly day. And I might, might have just stayed in, put on extra layers and just worked on editing YouTube videos, um, making stuff, prepping for other things. And instead, I've had to come out in my car and go out and do stuff. And I prefer that to be the rarity than the routine. So my week is nicely broken up now and I have a little bit more variety than when I was just working from home. And I think that's why some people who were just working from home during COVID look forward to going back to work and having this flexible working system of doing a bit of each, which I think is a much better way to work. Much better way to work. So yeah, that's my thought for the day. A little bit of self-denial won't hurt you. It doesn't make you poor doesn't make you a bad person, it means you make more considered approaches for both yourself and your finances and your, your health and your well-being. Because having everything all the time is not necessary. You don't need to buy a new sofa every couple of years because you got bored with the decor. You don't have to change your car. You can run your car till it drops, you know. Buy it on HP, pay for it for three years, and then enjoy 10, 11, 12 years of not paying for a car. Why would you continuously want to pay for a car? They're expensive enough as it is without changing them every three years. You don't need to do it. You really don't. Not necessary. I'm just happy with anything that goes. If it goes from A to B, that's all that matters.